All right, we're getting started. Uh, students here in class are trying to work on, they're working so hard on that warm up right now. I mean, I can just see the gears just turning all the way through. And believe it or not, we have a boys only class today. This is kind of interesting. Uh, <laughs> so, all right. Now, yesterday we did joint relative frequency. Today we're doing marginal relative frequency. And we did both of those. And we're adding something else. And it's really not that difficult. Um, what I am trying to do, if I really wanted to, we could be done with all of our standards like by Friday. That would mean that we would kind of have a week to do whatever before finals. But I'm going to try to like space it out a little bit, especially since we're hybrid right now and uh, see if we can end somewhere like Wednesday or Thursday of next week. So then we can start doing some final review stuff. And I've, I've got to make the final. I mean, I'm, I don't know. It's, so we'll see how it goes. All right. So your warm-up says was this right here. In a survey, 106 juniors and 100. 14 seniors responded. Okay, got to get my calculator. So we are supposed to be able to fill out this uh, table from here uh, to make sure. So the first thing I'm going to do is 106 minus 42 and get 64 to go in right here. Oh, wow, that's gross. It's going to be another Monday on a Tuesday. All right, and if I can get stuff rolling here. All right, then we're going to say 114 minus 77, and this is 37. All right, and then we're just going to add our columns down. So this would be a 9, uh, what is this, 119. 42 plus 79, uh, 77, yeah, 119, okay, uh, 64 and 37 is 101, huh, close to the highway I live, all right, and either one of those added up is 220, and that's our total people, okay, so, this is kind of what we were supposed to do for this, and then we kind of use it in for our next thing. Okay, and I've kind of done what I did before, and I cheated and copied this already, and we have this down. All right, so it says use the survey results to make a two-way table to show the joint marginal frequencies. All right, so what we have to do when we fill these in, we're going to end up dividing each of these things right here by 220. Okay, that's our total. So 42 divided by 220 is like 0 0.19. Uh, 64 divided by 220, 0 0.29. Okay. Um, 77 divided by 220. 0 0.35, 0 0.26, okay. Now I could go ahead and do the, divide the 119 and such, and I want to get uh, 0 0.54. Wait, I did this. This should be 0 0.46. I did the wrong one. Should have done 37 divided by 220. Okay, that is 0 0.17. All right, that's more better. And six divided by 220. So 48. And 114 divided by 220. 
Yeah, and this is 0.52. And again, this all adds up to 1. Okay, so um, the reason that we're actually using this for this chart, um, I don't know if y'all ran into this yesterday with the um, homework. Trying to do the homework without actually having the chart, to me, that was actually difficult too. Okay, I, I threw the paper away, but I actually drew a chart out to do this. It's just a way of organizing things, okay? Uh, sometimes using the charts are not a bad thing to do. Um, it just helps things be organized and stuff. And y'all know that's had me, I think I had, well, I don't think I had Brandon before, but everybody else in here, y'all know how scatterbrained I am, okay? I'm, I'm everywhere in my line of thinking. All right. So now we're going to do the conditional relative frequency. So remember, this is we're going to have to find our joint divided by our marginal. OK, so given that a student is a senior, so we're actually going to be looking at this row right here. So we know we're going to divide whatever that is by this. What is the conditional relative frequency that he or she is not attending the concert? So they're a senior not attending. So. That's when we're actually going to divide this 0.17 by this. And we get like 0 0.326, which we're going to round up to 0 0.33. OK. And, you know, I remember when you all had this before for most of you. This stuff kind of got a little tricky sometimes. Of course, when we were doing this last time, that was like, y'all would have been in like May and getting ready to get out for summer. Now we're in December, not knowing if we're going to make it to the end of this calendar year. <laughs> Who knows? All right, sorry. Uh, I found odd stuff funny. All right, given that a student is a junior, so we got to look at our juniors. So we know we're going to divide by 0 0.48 here. And what is the conditional relative frequency here? She is attending the concert. So we just look at the attending. So that's 0 0.19. Okay. Divided by 0 0.48. And we get like 0. 395. So we're going to round this up. Okay. Now, those words, the relative frequency and stuff, to me, that's that's just a big way to say probability. Um, you know, frequency, how often it happened, you know, relative is because it has to relate in some way. And this, you know, it's it's basically all still just probability. Okay, um, I decided to get the harder stuff of the probability done first before we actually get to the, some of the more simple probability. All right, so this one's kind of cool. This is already filled out for us except for our totals. Okay, so we just have to take our time and add this up. So this is going to be 0 0.34, 0 0.30. This is kind of similar to what we had the other day with the Long Beach and Santa Monica stuff. 0 0.36. Okay, this should all add up to 1. And across the top, 0 0.12. So this should be 0 0.88. All right. So now we have everything we need to find this conditional relative frequency. All right. So... All right, it says if someone who's related, who's in Glendale, so that's going to be this column right here. So we're going to divide by 0 0.34 and that they recommended. So that would be the yes. So it's 0 0.29 divided by that. All right. Oh, I disconnected. Oh, son of a gun. 
Well, everybody else that's, you know, they're good right now. So we'll see if we can get this fixed somehow. It always disconnects in this class. Very rarely do I have it happen in the other class. But I'm glad at least one person was awake to tell me it was disconnected. Because the other person that normally is, they're out today. Hopefully they don't have the code. All right. So, you know, it's, this seems kind of trivial. And I know it's got a lot of words, but it's, again, it's about the process. You know, y'all could be doing tons of other things. Um, and it depends on what you are working with. I know a lot of people do video games and things like that. There are actually video game designers that take stuff like this and they use it for marketing and things like that. Okay. There's usually two sides of the house. There's the people that actually know how to do all the graphics and everything. And they get information from the people that do like all the research and marketing and things like that. And that's how they usually build these uh, cool video games. Believe it or not. I don't play video games so much. I'd get addicted to them. All right. What's the probability that Ren would not recommend them that they're provided from Long Beach? So Long Beach, this is... All right, so this is a no, so that's going to be this one. So we're going to be dividing by 0.12, and that they're from Long Beach, so this is 0 0.04. Not times, Jeffrey's divided. All right, and it's like 0 0.33 repeating, or 33. All right, so... I've got to figure out a good way to make these happen on on stuff um, for for y'all for a better assessment, especially for a practice testing test. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, everybody get that? Anybody? Okay. All right. So all right. This kind of this thing cracks me up. Excuse me. This situation, because there's a commercial I've been seeing on TV and it says that you can watch this comedian says you can watch somebody run a marathon and cheer them on, but you can't like go to the gym and watch somebody on the treadmill without being questioned. So this apparently this person just went to the park and just observed people, which is creepy. Okay, <laughs> so we have, let's see if we can fill out the easy stuff first. We know that this is going to be 12, okay, because 9 plus 3. All right, and this one I would have to say 28 minus, and I'm going to add 9 and 7 in parentheses, and that's also 12. Okay, so 12 goes here. All right, and that helps us out because we now know this is uh, 20. Okay, so I can add this total up here. So this is 30. So he observed 50 people. I'm sorry, but if you're just sitting at a park watching people, you're probably going to have somebody come up to you and question you. I don't know why somebody would sit at a park and do this. I know I'm really reading in too much to this question, but this just kind of creeps me out a little bit. Sorry. 22. <laughs> and this one would be 11. Okay. So <clears throat> there's that part. Let's try to find our joints and our relatives. So this is going to be 9 divided by 50. Cool thing about dividing by 50, it's actually, you double this number. Like, 
3 divided by 50 is 0 0.06. Well, not 6, but 0 0.06. I noticed that pattern a couple of years ago. Uh, and this one is going to be 0 0.24, 0 0.40, 0 0.36. Okay. And this one, 0 0.44, set 0 0.56, and it all adds up to one. Okay. Whew. So now we have our data situated from the weird guy that sits at the park and observes people. So that's, that's nice. All right. So we got the chart. Now we're ready to answer questions. All right. So given that person it was in water activities, so that's going to be this one right here. So we're going to be divided by 0 0.40. Uh, what's the probability that they were female? So 0 0.16. So 0.16 divided by 0 0.40. That's weird. 0 0.40. That's suspicious. <clears throat> Given a person was male, so that's this column right here. So we're going to be dividing by 0.56. And they did water activities. So 0 0.24 divided by that. Okay, this is 0 0.428, which is 0 0.43. And again, I got to double check to see if these are percentages or not. Uh, I would honestly be totally fine with doing decimals. We should know how to do decimals and percentages. Okay. Given that somebody was playing tennis, so that's 0 0.24. Uh, probability that they were male, 0 0.18. So 0.18 divided by 0.24. Okay, this is 0 0.75, or that would be 75%. And given that a person was female, so our total of females is 0 0.44. And what's the probability that they're having a picnic? 0 0.22. Okay, so 0 0.22 divided by 0 0.4. 0.5. Alright. So, you know, all we do is just like use the chart, go through the thing, given that this person was female, what about this, given this person was having a picnic, yada, yada. Still weird that somebody was sitting there watching. Oh, we're done. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good things. Roll top.